Welcome along fellow time travelers. This time around we are continuing our walking tour of Old Fort, North Carolina. I had to stop briefly because a gentleman approached me and wanted to know who I work for. He was worried because I was paying attention to some of the cats that were walking around. I guess he thought I was coming there to snatch his cats or something. But of course I wasn't. I was concerned about the cats. I always keep cat food and a crate and a leash and other items like that in my vehicle in case I ever come across a stray cat or dog, but not doing that right now. Just kind of showing you around this particular area, which is a continuation from the last video. There are these great historic homes in the area that were just overwhelmed with the flooding, as you can see. Anyway, you are going to see some more images that are going to be quite unusual and upsetting. And chances are you may have never seen these before. because I seem to be the only one walking around here and I'm going to continue to be able to show the progress. Can you do me a favor and like and share the show and subscribe to my channel? Hit the notification bell and let us continue our walking tour. see all the debris all these possessions from people's homes you know it's easy right to just walk around and say wow look at that house it was torn apart and look at their possessions but you know when I walk around here I'm thinking you know these were homes that belong to real people right and I try to think about their lives not just now but just over the course of time in this neighborhood. People lived here five years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 75 years ago. And so when I walk around historic areas, historic neighborhoods, I hear the music from that time period. And in my mind, I see the cars driving by from that time period. And I see people from that time period. I see men walking around with their suits on, right? Or not, you know, depending on where it is. Wearing hats, because that was a thing. And ladies all dressed up to the nines, no matter the day of the week. But at times like this, I think about the people that were here when this happened, because a lot of people didn't get a chance to escape, because who expects it, right? You know, in Florida, you get notification about hurricanes long in advance, right? They're tracking them, and they're like, okay, you know, you live in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach. And you know what's going to happen, and you, you can be prepared for it. Or if you're on the other coast, Naples, Fort Myers, Sarasota, Tampa, and you're like, you know what's happening, you know what's going to come, and you're able to prepare. No one expected this. And it's really scary. There's going to be another video coming up because I just shot an area that's across the street from here. Oh boy, I got to tell you, it's bad. It's really scary. I, in fact, I think when I put up that video, I actually might put up a warning because it's really upsetting. Because these are homes that we're looking at. You saw some trailers there in the beginning, but, you know, these are solid homes. And so for the most part, you know, they're still. But these floodwaters came into their homes. And you can imagine somebody's mom, someone's dad, right? Different ages, right? Kids, people in wheelchairs, people that have all kinds of maybe physical issues or mental issues or just healthy as can be. And then over here, we're an elevated part of the area, so it's not as heavily hit. But you know, down there, 
Ooh, it's rough. And you can imagine the floodwaters coming in. And you think, oh, all right, you know, so it's floodwaters coming in. But, you know, it's lifting up the furniture. And it's hitting people. Right? Like, you know, you see the movie Titanic. And so it's bad enough you've got water flooding and it's freezing cold water. But then you think about all the debris and you're in your living room and you didn't leave. And at which point do you realize you should have gotten the hell out of there? This is a mess. Not going to walk all the way, but the river is actually just right there in the distance. I'll, I'll go over there for another video. But look at this mess. Wow. But as I said, I, I try to imagine what life was like in the area. In the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. And I imagine windows being opened. I imagine cars driving by. I imagine, you know, some mom in the 50s and she's been home all day the kids just came home from school she's making dinner for them and then the car pulls up her husband's getting out he's been at work all day he's hot and sweaty he just wants to shower and have dinner and hang out with his wife and his kids but you know what he did along his way well the wife doesn't know this. The kids don't know this. But he gets out of the car on the driver's side. He walks around, shuts the door, looks around, makes sure his wife can't see. And then he reaches into the side passenger door. He got his wife some flowers, right? Because she's been home all day and she's, you know, taking care of the house, taking care of the kids. And so she's been working, maybe, you know, just as hard as he has. And she opens up the door. And he hands his wife some flowers. So, I mean, I don't know. That's what I think when I walk through these neighborhoods. I try to imagine what life was like for these people. Because they're just like us, right? I mean, wherever you live. It's no secret. I was born in New York City, right? I'm surrounded by buildings I've got pavement under my feet my whole life you walk out the door you turn left you turn right and there's always some sort of adventure waiting for you you don't know who you're gonna meet but you're in small little towns like this and you know who you're gonna meet you know for the most part these neighbors these people you know your whole life you grew up with do you want me talking a lot when I'm doing this would you rather just listen to some music or just hear the sounds let me know in the comments below but you know look at this RV and you can imagine all the excitement when they got it and they're waiting for summer to come because the kids are gonna be home from school yeah and it's like oh we'll get in that and we're gonna go on vacation we'll go up to the mountains and it must have been awesome we'll park it in the driveway you know and then this happens See, I love this house. This is a great house. I'm going to do something a little bit different right now. I'm going to give you a glimpse of the next walking tour that I'm going to show you guys so you can get an idea of what's waiting ahead because it's really important that this horrific damage be documented so people in the future can see what happened here.
All right, so uh, we'll continue this tour in another video. Do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell because there's going to be more shows like this one. I hope you check those out too. Please check out campfireshop.com so you can buy candles, herbal supplements, teas, and more. That helps me out a lot. I would appreciate it if you could become a member of my channel and or join me on Patreon where you can watch exclusive walking tours of cool places that I've been to. You could also leave a super thanks in the comments below. Kindly be kind to all of our fellow Earthlings and please do not harm them. They don't like that. And please do yourself a favor and go to a local shelter and adopt a cat or a dog or both. You and they will be very glad that you did. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.